apologize so bad if you cannot see me right now but I'm currently on the way to the new apartment I'm meeting Zane there and we're gonna go and pick up the keys and I am so excited I'm currently in a rush because I had to go to my preschool this morning well, I had to go and do a couple of like last minute prep things but I'm super super close to our new apartment so I just drove here I'm like about to get here I think I don't know this is like my first time driving here by myself. So anyways, this is moving vlog two. So sorry for such a chaotic intro. Oh my gosh, this week has just been so freaking busy, you guys. Like you guys don't even know. I'm like currently filming like a packing video while I'm doing like all of this and it has just been so much. I feel like I've barely even had time to like sleep or rest or do like anything. So I'm just excited that like we're finally here and we're finally like at this point and that we can just get the keys. <laughs> Where are we, folks? Where are we? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my empty apartment tour. We're gonna start and we're gonna take you into the living room. It's pretty spacious. I think that there's there's actually like a ton more space in here than in our previous apartments and in the one that we're moving out of. The previous owners also were so gracious and kind and they left us their ceiling fan because these apartments don't have AC in them. So they only have like central heating, I believe, and so we would need to get like our own AC. So yeah, fans for us. The best part. I would open this and show you guys, but most is gonna dark out there. This is a patio, and there's also a storage closet outside as well. Let's go into the kitchen. Look at how big this kitchen is. I can't even touch both sides of the kitchen. I think this is the biggest kitchen. No, this is the biggest kitchen we've ever had in any place that we live in. We have our sink. It is a double sink. Love that there's a double sink. Also have a dishwasher right here. There are literally tons of drawers and cabinets everywhere. Definitely making a little coffee corner over there or over here. Don't know where the, anything's gonna go yet. Our favorite part, I think that both Zane and I were very attracted to was this refrigerator because it's a double door refrigerator. Then, look, it already made ice. We have our own ice maker. There's also a pantry closet which will be good for hiding all of our snacks and putting those things away. And then over here is gonna be our future dining room. Let's move on. Washer and dryer, nothing new in here. Well, let's go to the bathroom next. This is our bathroom. It's absolutely ginormous, and truly, if they really wanted to, this could have been a second bedroom. Um, but yeah, huge vanity space, also lots of storage. There's also, you might have to come over here for this thing. There's also a medicine cabinet. With shower over here. I mean, it's a pretty standard shower. There's a dog wash here, so most will not be getting baths in here. If you were wondering how we were gonna bathe him. Now, we're moving into another storage closet that Zane already put something in there. Um, so we were talking before about the fact that we can remove these wired shelvings and that will just give us a lot more space. So we're probably going to be doing that. Now we're in the bedroom. Ooh. This is a pretty good sized bedroom, I would say. We had the option to change it to hardwood flooring and they were just going to continue all of the flooring that we have outside in here. But Mox really likes carpet and although it's like a pain because he has hair and he sheds, it's fine because it's a lot easier on his paws. And then this is our closet. Not our favorite thing. We kind of have some issues with this closet, but like I said, Zane pointed out that you can unscrew the wired shelving. And so we're potentially talking about doing a custom wardrobe thing from Ikea, because I think that that would create a lot more storage. Like you can create it to your needs to fit like what you need in your closet. So. That will be a TBD. That is pretty much it for empty house tour. And so now, hey, I'm all done talking. <laughs> I'm gonna deep clean the entire apartment because it just smells like bleach. <laughs>
Are you kidding? To serve as a reminder as to why you clean your floors before you move in. That's ridiculous. I'm taking off my socks because that's disgusting. But I don't know what that whole thing with the shower was. It was like you have to like push it, but then the, the handle kind of just goes limp. And I don't think that that is supposed to happen. You guys, I'm not even kidding. The shower doesn't even work. I have like the paperwork stuff in my car. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill that out. And then I'm also gonna just stop by the leasing office and tell them that I think our shower head's broken and see if maintenance can fix it. I need to clean up the toilet seat because all that gun from that water dump got on there. I pretty much finished deep cleaning everything. I did the floors. We're gonna leave the floors, let that dry overnight. Should be all set to go tomorrow. I was thinking about it and I was kind of like, hmm, I could have waited and I could have did the floors after, but then we would have had all of our furniture and I only would have been able to clean the floors where our furniture wasn't. And I wanted to like be able to do everything. So I'm glad I did that and got all of that out of the way. I'm already like getting some ideas. I do want to get an Amazon list going. I don't know like how much we're gonna actually be able to like get done this week while Zane's parents are here because both of us are like working still. So don't know about any of that, but of course you guys will stay in the loop when it comes to everything that we're doing to this apartment. I told Zane, I don't know if the camera was rolling, I don't think it was, but um, he was walking around and looking at everyone's like patios and balconies and he was like, oh my god, I'm getting so much inspo. So I was like, okay, make a deal with me. I was like, you can do whatever you want onto the patio and then I can do whatever I want in here. I wish up on it. So that is how you compromise <laughs> in a relationship. I'm just kidding, but there are like a couple projects that I do want Zane's dad to do while he's here. I don't know, we still need to figure some stuff out, but... We're gonna take a break, eat some lunch, and honestly, I will probably see you guys tomorrow when we have our actual move-in. So, I'm so excited. <laughs> since I last filmed and there has been some progress in the apartment. I'm slowly starting to like find places to put things but before I close out this video I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of what everything is looking like. I have not had time to clean anything so please excuse the mess but this is what the bedroom is currently looking like. The plan is to definitely get a new bed so that's gonna be going but we're still gonna keep this for the time being. We have the nightstands over there. I want to get rid of that mirror. We're gonna get a new dresser over here. Here. This is my little vanity setup for now. I'm not sure how I'm feeling it, but we're gonna keep it for now. This mirror, I think I want to move this mirror to someplace else. Zane's dad was so awesome and amazing and he hung up my curtains for me. I bought both the rod and the actual curtain panels from Walmart. I also have this ottoman that I bought from Ross. I'm not sure if I showed you guys, like literally the tag is still on it, but I found an ottoman and I'm using it as like my vanity stool because I'm able to push it underneath the vanity and it sits pretty well under there. Now we're coming into the closet, which we do not have a lot of closet space. I think I've already explained that. I ended up just hanging up all of our like thickest jackets in here. I need to go through this pile and then we have all of our laundry stuff. The goal is to definitely maximize all of this space. So we need to figure out like a shelving system. So this is what the bathroom is currently looking like. My former bookshelf is now in here. I already put 
a bunch of things in here. Nothing is organized. I kind of just like, I only really had time to like put things in spots that I kind of want them to go. And then we have our overflowing laundry pile, which this is so embarrassing, but I have not done laundry since we got here. And then our shower situation. This room is like kind of interesting because we don't get a lot of airflow, I feel like in here, even though there's a window right there, I maybe got to start cracking that open, but it feels so stuffy in here. And then the counters, I want to make like a his and hers side. So like this is probably going to be Zane's side. This is probably going to be my side. I already kind of like claimed it. So like my stuff is in this on that set of drawers and then Zane's stuff is over there. And then we kind of just have like other random little bits and cleaning stuff underneath that part. We have this area that is still definitely a work in progress. So I already have my dining table picked out. So we actually are going to sell this guy. This is an island that my mom bought for us off of Amazon because we did not have any counter space in our last place. Obviously that is not an issue. Now we are stuck with this island and she gave her blessing for us to be able to sell it. Pantry, I mean, everything kind of looks the same. Also probably going to be buying like more of these organizational baskets. I did get these from Target and I mean everything at Target is kind of expensive. So I really do like those baskets though So I feel like I need to get more of that also want to get like some organizational stuff for Moki's Food and he has like so many treats because my mother-in-law is awesome Definitely gonna do a coffee bar station over here might move the toaster oven to over here like in this area it's just, it's kind of just all over the place at the moment. And then we have our living room. Still got to unbox some of these guys. This is also not staying like this. This is just a temporary thing. I am also ordering a TV console. So it's going to go over here and it's also going to cover like all of those wires because honestly they bother me. We have Zane's desk right there. We have our couch. I was kind of going back and forth. Like we didn't know what side we wanted the, this guy to be on. And I kind of like it in this area because we're probably gonna make this like Moki's corner but I gotta put those away I want to add a, like a little side table thing going on over here I found a rug so I do need to order that pretty soon and then I also want to get a coffee table and that is pretty much like my plans and just how everything's looking so far so obviously she still needs some work but thank you so much for watching moving vlog 2 don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notifications if you want to if you want to continue following along with the series i personally love watching videos like this so if you're one of those people too then make sure you stick around for the next couple of videos because i really i have high hopes for them but thank you again so much for watching be sure to follow me on all of my other social medias and i'll see you guys in the next video bye